Hello everybody and welcome back in the shop. Today it is about this display here, which is entirely made out of WS 2812B RGB LEDs. And let's have a look on the make. For the cam caught on my face in your damn hands You two with the crown, your list of demands I was begging for mercy, but it didn't work I went berserk at the clerk at the gas station So we had those boards If you are new to this channel, let me get you up to date real quick If you are not, hang on for a sec there buddy We have guests So this is a PCB that I had custom made To include 14 by 14 WS 2812B fully addressable, demo bright RGB LEDs inside a 10 by 10 cm square a total of 196 and you can now consider yourself updated if you are interested on the make of that I made a video about it which I will now pop you right there so under here we have a matrix which is 8 by 5 of them boards and of course 8 by 5 is 40. 40 by 196 is 7840. And that's the reason that I chose to go with that specific amount of boards, because both numbers end with 40 and the sentence that I just used primes. And this number just happened to be right under 8000, which is the maximum amount that my controller here can do. So, what do we have here? The LEDs on this board are connected in a way that the signal travels that way, in a zigzag. So I glued all 40 of them on a board and I connected them in the vertical direction only. So I have 8 signal lines up here and they all zigzag their way to their bottom. So every signal line drives 980 pixels which is still on the safe side given what we found out in the last video with the T1000 controller as for the power same thing here I power them in columns through the bottom 5 volt for each line around 15 amps each column so if I flip this around this side will be on the left and like that we have column 1, 2, 3 and 8 Sense my frustration as you place the gun in my face. Mistake one, but not to be outdone. Your partner in crime busted out of your aisle, crazy in his eye, and survival on his mind. I ducked in cover when he pressed the trigger, blowing the whole place so bad, even Columbus couldn't discover it. The rigors are being kidnapped by fat and lazy, scrappy human beings. And I will now connect them to the controller in that order. I wasn't trapped for long after the place was blown to bits Thinking he was safe, I went blitzkrieg on his pits Putting up and smacking down If someone would have watched it or would track the whole damn town After I left Also because this signal is very sensitive You want to connect all your grounds up here Between them and to your power supplies To have a common reference I will now go and do that off camera And catch up with you in a minute And there it is. I have connected all them grounds up to this point, which I then ground to all three of them power supplies. I know I should have used a different colored wire just to be clear here, but forgive me. I had plenty of that green stuff. Now for the power. This thing can draw 120 amps. So I'm using three power supplies, two of them rated at 60 amps, and they drive three columns each, 15 volts. And I am also using a smaller one, rated at 40, which drives two columns, 10 volts. Now, a good idea if you're gonna stack them together like this, is to use just one cable that goes to the wall. And with that, you fit them in parallel, the one from the other. This way you make sure that your lines would be with the lines, and neutrals with neutrals, regardless the orientation that you plug your connector 
in the socket. So with all that said, I think we are now ready to have a look at the software. The program that we are gonna use is called LED Edit, and the latest version that I know of is 2017. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the version to run on Linux, so I am once again running Windows 10. Now, first thing here is to make a layout. Define the way you have your LEDs connected into a bigger display. So we are using a T8000 controller and we want a maximum of 1024 pixels per data line. Now you grab the layout light from your toolbox to the right and I zigzag my way to make just my first board. 14 by 14. I am entering from the left side and I should exit from the left also, just like my board. And there is the first one. Now I just select that, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. And I place that just underneath the other one. Now we need three more. And there is the first column of our display. If you look here, you can see it written C1, P1. This is the first port of the first controller. This means that our controller will drive the column we just made through the first port. But we also need to connect those purple dots. So I grab the auto connect tool, select them all and pick the pattern that I want to use. I am using a zigzag left to right first. There. Remember this program can be a bit laggy. Now we just need 7 more of them. It's just a copy paste and auto connect procedure. The only thing to have in mind is that when you use auto connect to connect column number 2 let's say, you need to have port 2 highlighted there at the left. Otherwise it's gonna be connected in continuity with the last pixel of column 1. And just like that we are good to go. Next thing is to make a program. A show, let's call it. So there in the program tab you can add and remove them as you like. And we go in the effects tab to put something inside program 1. There you have plenty of options and ready made effects. You can make text messages, screen captures, whatever. Let me open a video here. So there you have it playing on the back as a preview on your LED display. The moment you want to start capturing, you hit the record button on the left. And up there you can see that capturing frames. That it's gonna transfer on your tiny lights. Whenever you are done, you hit stop recording and everything in between you have captured. 317 frames in my case. From up here you can preview what you have and also edit it. And let's also make a little screen capture. So you get this red window and you place it, let's say, above the open office icon. And you capture that for a reason. Anyways, you just keep horsing a bit around and whenever you are ready, you just go under export and generate and export LED files. Here we define that we are using some WSs. We lower the brightness a whole bunch, since the shop is tiny and those fellas can get painfully bright. And we define that they are GRB LEDs, which is just the order that their chipset has them colors arranged. And I save that on my desktop. So I threw that into this SD card and let's see what we have.
so I put together something a bit more pleasant for you to watch while I walk my way out of this video. Now overall I'm happy with the way this came out and I wish you could see that in person. Camera there doesn't really flatter the result. One thing is that we had a little mistake on the Gerbers and the boards came out slightly bigger on the outside than they should be. That's why you can see the line where they meet. But that's already fixed now and the next ones should combine perfectly. And of course I have to test it. Let it run for a few hours or a lot of them. Now those of you that know me will confirm that I am an open source guy. But those guys also have to bring food on the table. And that's one of the things that brings food on mine. Well, not this specifically, that's something new with the WS is an old, but LED displays in general. So I can't share those Gerbers here. I hope you get it. It would be as wise as giving them directly to the competitor down the road. But there is a reason that I chose to share this here with you. And it's this one. You can also make this out of LED strips and save the fuss soldering on those. I mean, it's the same principle. But for those of you that live abroad and really want those specific boards, I will find a way to get them out for sale. At a reasonable price, of course. For starters, it will be just the boards. But if this goes well and I establish a manufacturing process and ensure my consistency and quality, maybe I will get them out already assembled. But I believe that's all for today, folks. Until next time, have a nice one. And when I establish a manufacturing process and ensure my quality, maybe I will have them 